Party dance time. I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners, and that's why you're here. To stick around. We've got a video message. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have a late night chit chat. Well, it's late at night where I am. And I found something interesting. Now, I gotta warn you, this could be borderline astrology. Because I'm looking at the position of the planets. Going, hey, it's kind of weird. It seems to me like everybody's pointed Eris. And sure, what the hell are the Eris basics? It was discovered in January 2005 by Mike Brown, Chad Trujillo, Scott Shepard, and a bunch of crazy kids. It is the furthest dwarf planet from the sun. I don't think that's true anymore. You guys need to update your stuff. And the largest and most massive of the dwarf planets. Asterisk? Nobody really knows. There's a lot of planet nine talk. The same guys, but on different teams, kind of found a math that says a planet should be there. Asterisk? Okay. As the ninth largest and most massive object known to directly orbit the sun, Eris was briefly referred to as the tenth planet. Planet X, because X equals ten, as a Roman numeral. Eris was officially classified as a dwarf planet in August of 2006. Yeah, that's when they came up with fancy names for gross oversimplifications for your imagination. I think Eris is very interesting. Eris, its highly eccentric orbit, takes Eris up to over three times as far from the sun as Pluto. Apart from long-period comets, Eris and its moon are currently the most distant known natural objects in the solar system. Natural objects? That's a weird word. Are they saying we got Dyson spheres and spaceships out here? Eris, atmosphere. Hmm. Eris is often so far from the sun that its atmosphere collapses and freezes on the surface in an icy glaze. Eris is often so far from the sun that its atmosphere collapses and freezes on the surface in an icy glaze. And then a giant eats it like a donut and poops it back out. Ooh, that's some hardcore juvenile Thor science. It is expected the surface will warm up and reveal a rocky surface. That's interesting. Look at how its orbit is pretty giant and stuff. And you got Meg Meg, How May. But if you'll notice, mm, that's interesting. Looks like you, you see that? Oh, wow. And now it seems like everything's pointed at air, so I'm sure it's not. It almost looks like Saturn, Mars, Earth, and Ceres are in a line. And then Jupiter, Venus, Uranus are in a line as well. That's interesting to me. I hope you agree. It does look like everybody's, everybody's pointed at Eris. Like our solar system where there's a ship, the ship is pointed at Eris. And Neptune and Pluto out here in the wing. So there you go. It's almost like they're making a box. It's almost like they're making a box. That's crazy. 